Jika, welcome and thank you so much to everyone for joining us this evening at the Coonahan Gallery in Brunswick for the opening of Both Sides of the Street, um, curated by a respected local Indigenous artist and curator, Kimber Thompson. It means having a dialogue that really um, centres and honours the voices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in this country. And I think what it means also is about doing work that's about solidarity. So not about appropriating other people's stories, not about going off on your own and doing work that you think is solidarity, but actually sitting down and listening. Initially, uh, both sides of the street, um, I, I got the feeling that I was supposed to see that as meaning, um, you know, indigenous, non-indigenous artists being on, you know, both sides of the street. Um, but I, I think um, it quickly became obvious to us that, you know, we weren't on both sides of the street and that instead we were on the same side of the street. Well, the, I guess the main um, point about the work, this particular work, is that um, language and, you know, language isn't as simple as just the words and the sounds and um, there are accompanying um, elements like body language, gesture. <laughs> Both Sides of the Street has a personal meaning for me in a way because I'm mixed and I have to deal with both sides of the street. Like as a collaboration we took both of our identities, our skills and our interests and came up with a project that resonated with that. And it's about the historical references of the Kimberley Point which is a implement that was developed to sell to colonials and Europeans and we are investigating the recreation of that implement and its role now.